So I just bought my first ever iPad. This is the Apple iPad Air 2022 of 256 gigabytes of storage. I got it in purple. I already have this like case on it because as soon as I realized that I am gonna buy one, I bought a case because it is quite like big. I mean, <laughs> I was gonna show the comparison with my phone, but I'm filming on my phone right now. But in comparison with my phone, this is like huge. And it was like so weird to get used to like holding and carrying around and stuff. I bought it a couple of weeks ago. I used it for a couple different things, I guess, at this point. So I was thinking maybe I could do like first impressions, what I expected, why I bought it, and how the experience has been going. So the thing is, I've been wanting to buy one for some time now. I think honestly it's been years, but ever since I got my laptop and my phone, I was like, I don't need it. I was kind of convincing myself that I don't need it. I don't need to spend the money on it. But then as I went to university, I've seen every freaking student have it and use it for studying purposes as well. And I'm like, this is genius because I love my laptop, but sometimes I wish I could have something smaller to bring with me, for example, on a vacation when I know that I still have to do some assignments or I just want to watch a movie or series or something and the laptop is a tiny little bit inconvenient. Like I've always done it, so it's not a problem, but I always wanted like something a little bit smaller if I have the opportunity. Also, technically, this is not the first iPad I've used because my mom bought us for me and my sisters for Christmas like seven years ago or something she bought us like an ipad mini to use i guess for fun just for playing games and maybe watch youtube and stuff but it was like we shared it with my sister so we couldn't really use it as much and also like i said we were in probably like middle school at that point so i wasn't using it for setting purposes and also now there's the Apple Pencil, which is honestly one of the main reasons I wanted this because I just love being creative, doing creative things, also writing. And so I thought it would be amazing to have a pen that I could do all of these things with. I was also inspired. I don't know who, but I follow a couple of people on Instagram who do a photo dump and they have like text written in the photo which I love or also like people do it with thumbnails on YouTube and I was thinking it would be perfect if I could do that with my own handwriting with a pen but as I've said I've been putting it off for a really long time convincing myself that I don't really need it and then especially since I've been here on Erasmus a couple of people from my dorm have it and I just saw them use it so much and i was so jealous and then i saw that one of the basic models got really discounted because new ones were supposed to come out and it was really really cheap for like an ipad and i think it might have been around like 200 euros 250 and i was like okay i think i could spend like this much money on the ipad but then as i got more into research I realized that it's not really a model that would fit me. For example, the Apple Pencil, it would fit only with the Apple Pencil of first generation, which I watched some YouTube videos and the connection with the iPad, it was just like a pain in the ass, to be honest. In the end, I came to the conclusion that it, even though it's cheap, it's not really the best option for me. So then I was set on this one because all my friends here have that. Well, not all of them, but most of them. And I even tested it out, tried it out. I asked around what they think about it, how their like user experience has been and they all said like it's great they really like it it's a good option so I decided I'm gonna wait until the new iPads come out which initially I think they were supposed to come out in May no in April or maybe even in the beginning of this year but then it got pushed back and they came out I think mid-May I think it was like the 15th of May and I don't remember if in the US on Euro or in Europe but it was perfect because literally right the day when the iPads came out, the older iPads got discounted. Like I literally checked like the day before and the day of and I could see the difference. So I was like, this is perfect because I'm going to order it. I'm going to go to Prague in a couple of days because of my job. So then I had my dad order it. It came on time. So when I went to Prague, I could pick it up and then bring it here. And it was perfect because it was right before exams. So I actually used it for studying for exams. So this was basically the whole backstory of why I bought it, how I bought it, when I bought it. I think in the end, how much did it cost me? I think with some discounts and everything, I got it for approximately 600 euros and the pen was around 100 euros, I think. And I didn't pay for the pen because I got it as a birthday gift for my dad because it was around my birthday. So my first impressions weren't necessarily negative, but maybe <laughs> like really surprising to me because like I said, I never really like 
like owned an iPad and used it a lot. So I didn't know what to expect. I didn't have a lot of experience. Like it was almost funny because I just, I held it in my hand. I was like, what do I do? Because right the first thing was when I turned it on, I had to like set it up for the first time ever. Because with my phone, for example, if I buy a new one, like I already had an iPhone before. So you just sync it and then it transfers everything. It sets it up in the same way and you basically don't have to do anything much. But with the iPad, I never had one before. So I had to like set it all up and I was like, oh my God what do I do? What do I click on? Which brings me to the point of customization. I'm gonna open it. Basically, it's really like ugly and not really organized at all because I just downloaded some apps that I thought I would need or use on the iPad, which is gonna be the next point. So I'm still going to try to customize the iPad. What I expected though is because the screen is so much bigger, I would expect the app icons to also be bigger. I don't think they're the same size as on my phone. I'm gonna compare it later. I don't know. I would just expect them to be a little bit bigger since the screen is so much bigger, you know? And I think with iOS 18, we will actually be able to like organize our home screens however we want. Like it doesn't have to be full. You can have just app icons like around the edges. We can also change like the theme, like it can be dark or light or something. The iOS 18 isn't out yet, so I'm gonna wait for that. So the second point was the apps i actually didn't know what to download like i downloaded for example youtube and netflix which i was like obviously i'm gonna use it to watch something but other than that i was like what do i want like do i want to scroll on instagram on it i thought maybe it might be easier to like upload reels and posts on instagram through the ipad but that turned out not to be true and also it's so weird when i open instagram honestly i really I hate this like it's so big you know it doesn't even go like completely to the sides i mean imagine just doing this i'm like oh, no no i don't know i replied to a message on it right now but it's just so it's so weird i don't know it's too big for me i think I also downloaded Spotify, Canva, Kindle, and then obviously GoodNotes, which I'm gonna get to later. But I would say so far what I've used the most was GoodNotes and Netflix. But I only really had it for a couple of weeks. So I used GoodNotes when I was studying for my exams, and then Netflix. I've been watching the last season of Love is Blind and the second season of Perfect Match because my exams are over, so I had to catch up. First impression was that it's really big, and I didn't know how to hold it like look at it bigger than my head and it's also kind of like heavy and at first i was like oh my god it's gonna break i'm gonna drop it but now i think i'm a little bit calmer about that then i really had to get used to the writing with the pen i don't know for some reason it was really weird for me in the beginning i had to get used to like the different feeling of like a normal pen and this like digital one and then also like, switching in between pen pencil eraser and all of that but as i continued using it i got really used to it and i don't mind at all right now i also really really love that you can turn the ipad like either have it vertically or turn it horizontally which with a laptop you can do and i don't know i just find it really really useful and helpful especially with like this thing if i roll it like this either you use it as like a stand or i turn it the other way i have it like this on my desk and then i write and then it's a little bit lifted which is a little bit comfortable for my hand there is no face id that you could use to open it which in the beginning i found a little bit annoying just because i'm used to it on my phone but then on my laptop i'm used to doing it with a touch id and then here on the ipad it has a touch id which is a little bit more quote-unquote difficult to get to since i have this case on and you have to like go in a little bit but honestly not a huge deal again i got used to it so no problem there so now for good notes this is the app that everyone will tell you to download if you buy an iPad. And honestly, I think for a good reason. You know, I like to watch a lot of like YouTube videos on these topics on basically whatever. Like when I want to learn about something and just go on YouTube and find videos. And for the iPad, I just I just want to use it to the fullest. So then I went on YouTube. I tried to find like apps you should have on your iPad or features you should use, etc. Which the number one feature that I think it's really cool and convenient, you can connect touchpad and keyboard of your laptop if you have a Mac with your iPad and use both at the same time. I think it's insane and it's it's really cool. I'm gonna show it later. Do you see this? All of a sudden there's a dot here and then it's
I'm here and I can like use the touchpad where I text using the keyboard from the laptop. If you go to general, like on the laptop and then displays, you set it up here somewhere. Yes, advanced. And then here you have to have this function on allow your pointer and keyboard to move between any nearby Mac or iPad. So let's look into GoodNotes. So when I open my GoodNotes app, you see a couple of notebooks, I guess. I have the free version right now. I have the GoodNotes 6 because I think they recently did like a huge update from GoodNotes 5 to GoodNotes 6. And in the free version, I can only have three notebooks. So then I open it. Oh my god, so pretty. I took my time with these notes and I just love how honestly how easy it is to use the app like I said at first I had to really like explore and find how everything works but then pretty quickly I learned to use it you can insert pictures you can use like the tape function to like put a tape over something then you click on it and it reveals what's underneath so if you have to memorize something learn I don't know body parts or whatever you can use that too there's also like the scribble function which if you write something and then you just like scribble over it it will erase it i love i love so much how you can like transfer text a bullet point a picture whatever with the lasso tool which you circle around something and then just you move it around which is perfect because sometimes like i write i write then i forget something and i need to move it a little bit down which i used to struggle with writing my notes by hand so much because i'm kind of a perfectionist and then i would make a mistake or i wouldn't write the word like in the most beautiful way and i would erase it do it again and on the ipad that is so easy to do i was thinking about getting the pro version of good notes but so far for me i don't have the motivation to spend like another 30 euros on it i also think you can just import things into good notes immediately when you download a presentation you can directly import it into good notes and then write into it and do whatever because you can also do that on the ipad automatically like you can download the presentation and you can by default like write into it but if you import it into good notes there's many more features and functions what you could do now let's quickly talk about the battery life because honestly I haven't figured it out either it doesn't have a really great battery or I've been using like apps that drain it a lot I think good notes because I've been using good notes a lot and I would be using it and it would only last a couple of hours but I was thinking maybe it is more difficult software and it drains the battery quicker and then I was also watching Netflix but honestly I was watching it for like more than half of the day like, consistently because I've been sick so I've been just in my bed watching something and then it also got drained and I had to charge it. So I'm still gonna like watch and observe to see how the battery, how long it lasts. But it's not like I've been like, oh my god, it doesn't last anything. It sucks. Like not at all. But I just noticed that it gets drained a little bit quicker than I would expect, I guess. I can also just talk about the Apple Pencil a little bit. I mean, honestly, the touch of it, it's just so comfortable to the touch and i love that it has this flat side on it where i put usually my thumb and it just i don't know it fits in my head really nicely i don't have any like issue with it now this brings me to the accessories i bought for my ipad first of all the case that you've already seen i chose this one like that has a clear case at the back so i could you know still see the color because i really like it then i bought as you can see it's not tempered glass it's supposed to be like a softer thingy not really that hard it's not blue That's it's just the cover thingy but i bought paper light screen protection which i'm really curious about and i haven't put it on yet just because i'm so nervous put it on because honestly i feel like i'm really good with putting on the hard glass on my phone but that's because it's small and it doesn't wiggle you know because one time i was trying to put on the soft thingy on my phone and it i just could not do it properly so i'm scared about this but i think this is not gonna be as like soft i guess it's like bendable and everything but it still feels pretty firm so i think i might be able to do it i don't know also how cool is it that it came in this whole like professional thing and then i bought these tips for the apple pencil because i saw some people like use some different ones and i don't know like you might have more control over it because the original one on the apple pencil is quite like big and dull not sharp at all so then i have a couple of these different ones i'm gonna show a close-up so i'm also excited to try that out
So to wrap up this video for some impressions, whatever, about the iPad, I have to say I'm really happy with the purchase so far. Up until now, I've been using it a fair amount. I want to use it even more and for more versatile things. I also haven't like tried out writing into like a thumbnail or something yet. Or I think maybe I could do that in Canva because I create my thumbnails in Canva. And I'm going to try if I can actually like do it right in the app, in the design, not like later on, you know, where I would export it and then add more things to it in a different app or something so my goal is going to be trying to figure out what else i could use it for and the second thing is to customize it to my liking i really think it's a really good device for students especially in high school or university i'm even thinking maybe like if you don't need it for some like heavy tasks editing coding whatever it might be a better option than a laptop if you like buy the keyboard with it as well like the keyboard that you usually have like in this part of the case like my friends have it but i was thinking i don't need it because if i want an ipad with a keyboard that basically turns it into a laptop and i already have that so i was thinking i won't buy it just yet and if i feel like i need it maybe i can buy it later but then like i said there's the function of being able to like use the trackpad and the keyboard of the laptop on the ipad as well like you have to be using the devices at the same time of course if you need like multiple screens um for studying or working or something like you can do that with those two devices and i feel like it's great it works really well so like i was saying it might be a good option for like students to just get the ipad with a keyboard in the case so then like you can still write normally quote unquote not just like tapping on the screen and it's more like portable it's lighter usually and you don't need a laptop but i do need a laptop for like editing videos and i don't know photos and everything so i just have it for maybe different purposes and i think i still will be able to like use all of them for different things so thank you for watching if you have any questions you can ask i'm gonna answer and i'll see you next time bye